Hello, parishioners of St. Gabriel and St. Bridget. This is Father Dustin. Uh, it's Friday, uh, 8.30 a.m. Um, as of the recording here. Um, certainly want to thank everyone um, who has been joining us uh, for Mass on live stream. Um, and those Masses remain up throughout the day. Um, and, and so uh, we've been able to see that th there's quite a few people, quite a few parishioners that have been um, attending Mass uh, via the Internet, uh, maintaining connection with, first and foremost, our Lord, um, and, and secondarily, just the Mass is what connects all of us. So, so thank you for staying connected to your parish and, 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 and to all parishioners. Um, it's so important right now, I think, as we're seeing. Um, thanks to everyone who joined us for the rosary uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, also, uh, everyone should have received an email um, last evening um, from Melissa. If you did not uh, receive an email... Uh, from Melissa, who is in our front office, our director of communications, um, and she and all this uh, parish staff, the school staff, um, everyone's been just pitching in where they can. Um, they, they, please keep uh, your parish and school staff members in prayer. Um, they've been working hard and, and, and trying to um, reassert normalcy uh, in, in the midst of just an incredibly abnormal uh, circumstance that we all find ourselves in. So Keep them in prayer. And again, thanks everyone uh, who was able to join us yesterday. Um, we do have Mass today at noon uh, that will live stream. And then also Stations of the Cross that will be live stream um, at 5.30. Uh, that'll be coming to you all live from St. Gabriel. Uh, just a quick word about all that. If you do um, experience any kind of you know difficulties with uh, the, the, the live feed skipping or cutting out, um, it, it sometimes could be uh, your internet, but oftentimes because we're broadcasting from the church, um, it's, not, uh, it's not the greatest signal that we get in there. So just please be patient with it. Um, there's only so much we can do in terms of that, but uh, please continue making the effort um, to, to be there for these prayer opportunities. So again, today, Mass at noon um, and Stations of the Cross at 5.30 p.m., uh, tomorrow, the weekend mass schedule from this point forward uh, is going to be Saturday morning at 1030, which will be just a Saturday daily mass. Um, and then it's, so it's not a mass that if the obligation were still in place, um, it's not a, it's not a mass that would fulfill that obligation. Um, but Saturday morning mass at 1030, Sunday morning mass. So that's the big Sunday mass. Um, that'll be at 1030 as well. So the weekend mass schedule is going to be Saturday and Sunday, both days, 1030, there'll be masses live streamed. <clears throat> so uh, today for our reflection, um, I invite us to just take a moment of silence, um, and then I'll offer a prayer. And, and in that silence, I invite us to call to mind an intention uh, for our day um, that we want, uh, an, an intention for our morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of our health, the gift of our parishes, our faith, our family. And we lift up to you all of our goings and comings this day. We offer up to you those moments of joy and peace, tranquility. We offer up to you those moments of uncertainty and confusion, uh, perhaps even fear. We offer up to you all that this day will bring. We ask that you receive it and perfect it through the intercession of Saints Gabriel and Saint Bridget and by the merits of your Son that he won for us on his cross. We ask that you help us this day, on this Friday of Lent, to remember deeply the passion and death of your Son. And may it always be present in our hearts, bathed in your light of intense personal love for us. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today um, I'm going to be reflecting on uh, the first reading from Mass today. It comes from the prophet Hosea. 
Um, and it is Hosea chapter 14, verses 2 through 10. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and read that reading now. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. What shall say, we shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. For in you the orphan finds com- compassion. I will heal their defecation, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth its shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk. But sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a extremely uh, rich and, and just beautiful uh, reading. I, I, I hope you agree with that. It's, uh, it's a reading that should fill us uh, with hope, uh, great hope in this time of our own uncertainty, um, as it is written um, in, in the midst of a time of uncertainty in the history of Israel, an uncertainty caused by covenantal unfaithfulness. Um, and so, the nation of Israel is, 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 as we heard there, you know, Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled the nation of Ephraim, um, but I will prosper him, said God in this reading. Um, but the whole key for this prospering of Israel um, is returning to that covenantal relationship. You know, we can look at, at the, the, there's a line in this reading um, through Hosea that says, we shall say no more our God to the work of our hands. And so that's to say that the people of Israel right now are, are, are looking to their work as their God, you know, just their, their, their careers, their, their jobs. That is what is dictating their life or had been up to this point um, and until things turn for the worse. And so this is God saying, yeah, we're not going to call our work our God any longer. And how many of us can relate to that? You know, just this changing um, landscape of community and society and, and, and with the closure of, of or the, 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 mostly the closure of restaurants, certainly the uh, to-go areas of those restaurants that are able to do so are going on. But just people that are right now facing the prospect of not having work, kind of setting their daily schedule. We shall say no more our God to the work of our hands. <clears throat> and of course, that's going to cause fear. Um, I'm scared. I'm worried um, for, for you, for, for our entire communities, both of our counties. But here we see this, th- this reading comes at a time when we can put this all in perspective of returning to faith, returning to our Lord, returning to that covenantal relationship, and, you know, in truth, we're all there, right? The, 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 the people of our parishes do their best um, to maintain that relationship with God. And this gives us an opportunity to deepen that relationship um, as our routines are all changing and as our work is no longer able to be kind of the great decider of how our days go. Um, whether that be the work of, of, of an actual job or the work of our vocations, everything is just kind of upside down right now in the life of families and the home life, um, if, whether or not there's children at home. Um, and so here that, that, 
that great call at the beginning of a Hosea again. Return, O Israel. You know, return, St. Gabriel. Return, St. Bridget, to the Lord your God. We have been collapsed by our guilt. How many of us now see uh, that, that, that maybe our priorities have been skewed um, these last years? And now we have an opportunity to kind of make amends for that. To say, Lord, forgive me. And everything really is dependent on you. Everything really is dependent on you. As, he, as, as Hosea says toward the end of the reading, because of me, you bear fruit. Those are the words of God. Because of God, we bear fruit. That's it. Let him and her who is wise understand these things. Let him who is wise, who is prudent, know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, right? Those are the straight paths. Those are the straight pathways that the Lord calls us to in our vocational lives um, on a daily basis. That this is the only way to get to him is by following his pathway. And so return, return disciples to the Lord your God. We have collapsed through our guilt. Take with us our words and return to the Lord. Here comes kind of a second call in this for all of us. It's then we who have been engaged in our faith in this time, you know, before this, before the whole coronavirus thing, we who have been engaged in our faith have have done our best. And and, and yes, we're seeing now, hopefully, with, with the perspective of all these kind of Um, measures that have been uh, taken by our public officials, it's given us a perspective that maybe, yes, we have collapsed from our guilt, that right now we're collapsing from our guilt um, of of making gods out of our work. But we've been trying, right? We've been showing up to Mass. We've been trying to foster a prayer life. But there are those um, around us in our communities that, that maybe have fallen away and have given up on that pathway of the Lord, um, that have stumbled on that pathway um, and have left it. And here's where Hosea says, take with you words and return to the Lord. And then God directs Hosea and says, say to them, forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks of our stalls, that we may render as offerings this new normal, right? This, this, We're going to go back to the basics. We're going to go back to offering just that simple morning prayer that we offered here uh, this morning, just before we started this reflection. My point is, is that we have this opportunity, not just for ourselves to kind of return to a deeper way in relationship with God, but to invite others who have fallen away to that relationship as well. Inviting them to faith right now in the midst of uncertainty um, that they may be facing, to give people a phone call that we're not seeing and haven't seen for a while, to give your relatives a phone call, your friends a phone call, um, people in the community that you know a phone call, and just say, hey, how you doing? Tell me what's going on. Tell me, tell me what, what, what brings you hope right now. Tell me what is causing fear and anxiety right now. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how your family's doing. This is where God says to Hosea, take with you words. So guys, you and I need to take with us words and return to the Lord. Help lead people back to and invite them to a way of faith. And we have this amazing opportunity right now to be vessels of that. And remembering always that it is because of God that we bear fruit. We are learning that in a deeper way right now. It's a painful way. It's not a way we would want to learn this. It's the hard way, so to speak. But we are learning that because of God, we do bear fruit. And because of God, we can still bear fruit. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this brief moment of reflecting on your word. A word that gives us hope. A word that promises a new day, a word that assures us of a deep work that each and every one of us are called to, a work that will bear fruit. And that work, Heavenly Father, is nothing more than deepening our relationship with you and inviting others to do the same. Grant us the courage 
grant us the grace to pursue you and take as many people as possible with us in that pursuit as we all seek you and make fruitful that work. Remember your promise that you spoke to us today through your prophet Hosea, that you do make fruitful the work of our hands. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Know of my prayers, and if you're able to join us for Mass at noon uh, on YouTube Live or um, on uh, for Stations of the Cross at 5.30 this evening, uh, look forward to seeing you all there and being with you in prayer. God bless you. Bye-bye.